all know what's coming. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my friend Lizzie Fierce. Um, Lizzie actually did a video on her channel as well where we show you some posing tips, so make sure to check it out. Uh, but today we are going to be talking about simple tips that you can do to spice up your photos to make them look a bit more fancy than they might be. Uh, I'm Lizzie Pierce. I'm a photographer, also video producer from Toronto. Uh, I do travel photography. Um, we also talk about posing tips on my channel. We talk about business tips for running your own business. And so if you're interested in any of that, feel free to hop over to my channel. Otherwise, just watch this video and see the cool tips we have for you. <laughs> in New York I was trying to do something a bit different and I actually played around with a few things last week that I really enjoyed and one of them was using movement in your photos and I don't mean the model moving I mean the background moving so using the subway for example because we are in New York um, so like having the train moving behind us using a really sh slow shutter speed making sure that you capture the model and then you get the nice blur in the background obviously if you're shooting in the evening you can try that with cars as well it might be a bit harder if you're shooting during the day and you want to do a slow shutter speed because it might be too bright but if you get a chance to maybe try something a bit more low light and use a slower exposure I think it would look really really cool Hey everyone I just want to take a second out of the video to let you know about my Black Friday sale it's a really good one this year First thing first, I have 30 to 50% off all my preset packs, and that includes my two brand new preset packs that I launched this week. They are really good, so make sure not to miss it. You don't need any discount codes. You can just add them into your basket and the discount is going to be automatically applied at the checkout. Also, second thing, I just launched my prints and I'm super excited for them as well. It's been a dream of mine and I'm so excited to finally bring out this part of my work. Finally, my photography course is going to be 50% off. So instead of $297, it's only gonna be 148 with the code BF22 at the checkout. Make sure to check it out. The codes are only gonna last this week. Make sure not to miss it. It's the biggest sale you're going to get. And I hope you enjoy the products and let's get back into the video. Along with the slow shutter, there are a few different ways that you can incorporate movement into your photography. So what it really does is it actually, when you see that still photo, it brings you back to that moment and you can kind of imagine the movement happening or imagine that action already happening. So it's kind of like a tiny movie, but in your photo. And the best way to do that is to capture that movement. So whether it's a slow shutter or whether it's, you know, someone spinning in like a really drapey like dress or seeing their hair move or uh, seeing like the wind moving trees or like blowing something away. There are a lot of different ways that you can make an action that's frozen in time come to life. So if you're maybe like picking flowers or something, have the person you're photographing, your subject, actually pick the flowers maybe a few times. And that's the way you're gonna get the most like authentic and real photo, um, not just someone who's like standing holding the flower. It will look posed and it'll look contrived. I recently started shooting flash and the way I shoot flash is usually I shoot direct flash I shoot on camera flash only I don't really use studio strobes as much if I do use light and studios LEDs but that's another story um, so my second tip is to experiment with flash with direct flash especially especially if you want to get that slightly vintagey feel in your photos and I will be experimenting with it during the daytime uh, because I haven't really done that much. I've done it indoors and I really, really love it. I think it gives you a really high fashion editorial kind of feel, feel that I really love. And even though the straight on flash seems very in your face and aggressive, it actually does look really, really good. Um, so I've been experimenting with it and I really, really enjoy it. So I think it's a really, really nice way to make your photos look different because a lot of the time we use the same kind of lighting situation, especially outdoors. And you know, you can kind of mix it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a flashy flash. Yeah, it's like creating that effect for your photo before you even get into the editing room. Uh -huh. It also gives you the opportunity, like with, we were just talking about this photo with like the wave coming up behind your mm -hmm. model. That wasn't necessarily in the middle of the day, but you can freeze motion really mm -hmm. well that way. Yeah, it looks really nice. And I'll take it off just to show an example of what it looked like yeah. without. And 
and now a word from my sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that will help you make your dream website, portfolio, or an online shop become a reality. Squarespace has hundreds of beautiful templates, so you will definitely find something that suits you and your personal style. You can build a professional portfolio website in a matter of hours, and you will be able to customize it every step of the way. So it's so you that nobody can deny it's not. As we all know, social media presence is power, and with Squarespace, you'll be able to auto-post all your content to Twitter, Facebook, or Tumblr with proper tags and descriptions. Finally, Squarespace helps you with the marketing, they help you with SEO, as well as some plugins for Instagram stories and so on, as well as share buttons so your followers can give you some juicy shoutouts on their social media. If that sounds like something you'd like to try, make sure to go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And once you're ready to go, use my code squarespace.com slash Anita to receive 10% off your first purchase. Depth is a really great way to enhance your photography in a few different ways. So when you're shooting in a space like this, it can really benefit you and also help to draw the focus of your image to that subject or to that certain area that you want to focus on by shooting something in the foreground and using it actually as kind of like a frame to frame your subject. A longer lens would be better, but this is fine. It also adds dimension to your photo and instead of it looking really flat and just like say you're taking a picture of a truck, something pretty boring, if you shoot through like scaffolding or something and then you even see the buildings even further behind the truck, it really brings you into that moment and you get a sense of all of the surroundings and the city without just taking a picture of the truck kind of by itself. tip is great for if you're a little bit stuck, if you've been shooting the same thing for an hour and you're getting really bored. So a photography teacher I had quite a few years ago now told me to change one of these three things and it'll completely reinvent your photo. So either change the angle you're shooting, either change the light that you're shooting in, so maybe incorporate flash, or change the lens you've been shooting with. And that'll usually result in a completely different photo and maybe a perspective that you weren't necessarily envisioning for that shoot and could turn out to be your favorite photo of the day. This is the angle light lens example I'm about to show you. So in this situation, we're shooting with a 50. I'm gonna shoot this photo straight on and it's not gonna be a bad photo, but I'll show you how by changing the angle and by changing the lens, you're gonna get a completely different photo and something that works really well for this location. Okay, so now I'm gonna change my lens and I'll show you how this photo gets. All right, so now we've changed our angle. I'm very low. Now we have switched our lens to the 24-1-4, and this time we're gonna have Anita completely walk through the frame. I think it's very important to also look around your surroundings. Uh, sometimes, you know, changing your angle a tiny bit can change everything pretty drastically, if, especially if you're shooting outdoors. I try and avoid having a empty spaces behind me. I always try and find things that will fill the frame behind my subject because I find it just looks a bit more exciting. And then, you know, if I'm in a spot, I always try and walk around my model because that kind of helps me see what's around me through the lens of the camera. Because a lot of the time I feel like we see things, but we don't necessarily see it through the lens of the camera, we just kind mm -hmm. of see it with our eyes. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of the time, especially when I take behind the scenes with my phone, it's actually super helpful to just walk around and film the behind the scenes because I see so many different angles on the iPhone, yeah. which kind of looks good most of the time. So yeah, it's 100%. Okay guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much, Lizzie, for doing this video Thanks with me. Thanks for having me. me. Make sure to check out her channel and her video that we did together as well. It's a good one. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! It's a great way to enhance your photos, and there are a couple of ways to do this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what's happening. Depth is a great way to enhance your photos. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Depth is a great way to <laughs> I don't know why. I just had to think it's just because I knew it was serious. And then